There's a lot to do. Got the tea case out that was a whole lot of fun there's not much room on the top you can see the uh, tea case rubs on the tub itself just when it's up in there there ain't much room up in there all right so we got the transfer case out and on the bench and I'm picking up the SYE kit so we can go ahead and start tearing this apart and my disc brake kit from Rough Stuff, not from Rough Stuff, got it off of eBay because Rough Stuff kept having it on back order for the uh, three inch axle tube, but got that kit in. Got the sound bar. This is a Boss sound bar just on Amazon. Uh, they're actually pretty spendy. And then I got the Rock Lights. So there is a lot to install, and this is just the, the start of the parts. So got my front drive line here, drive line northwest. Once I get the SYE kit put on and the transfer case back up, I can measure for my drive line, and then I'm going to bring the front in as well and just have them replace the U-joints because I hate doing U-joints. So yeah, there is a lot going on in this video, a lot. Let's get going. All right, so I didn't video installing the SYE kit, but she's all in and I'm just bolting her back up. And then we're gonna go ahead and measure for the driveline length and the spline and everything that I need. So this is the uh, 1350 CV joint. So. It's a little bit bigger than a 1310. It's not quite a, uh, you know, one ton size, but it's definitely gonna be better than a 1310. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish getting this bolted up and then we're gonna go ahead and measure for driveline. So measuring for the driveline comes up to 64 and 5 eighths. So that is measuring from the flat face on this yoke to the flat face on that yoke. And I measured at right height and then full droop. Obviously there's no tires on there, um, but it actually gets shorter on full droop. And the reason being is because the axle is dropping down and forward because of the way a shackle works. So that is a pretty long drive line. So I'm gonna have to call Monday morning and uh, get a quote out on that and see how much that's gonna be and get some parts going because I wanna get this thing back on the trail like ASAP. But in the meantime, now that the SYE kit is on there, now we can have a little bit of fun and figure out how we're gonna go ahead and mount the sound bar. So this bar is actually not bad it's actually pretty nice i mean for the price i would hope so but it's got three mounting points so you can mount it right side up upside down or directly from the back 
and it comes with all the hardware and these little slide locks. They just go in and you can mount them wherever you want. So we're gonna figure out where we can mount these. So on the inside, I have all the interior ripped out because eventually I'm gonna be throwing a cage in here. Uh, it's probably not gonna be anything special, but just basic hoops and uh, A pillars and everything like that and a harness bar. But I'm thinking that the sound bar, I wanna tuck up as far as I can back here and originally I was thinking about welding a plate here and here and just a bar across and using those clamps. But the more that I look at it, I'm wondering if I can get away with angle iron in these dimple holes, drill them out and weld a nut in there and use some angle iron and screw them into there and screw the piece into the sound bar. So let's see what I can come up with. So I was able to get the sound bar up in there not exactly the way that I was thinking, but she's all up in there. And basically I ground down and put two pieces of angle iron together and it's not the prettiest thing, but she sits up in there. And I know some people are probably gonna say, be careful because it might wear out some of the cab and actually um, break this. Cause you know, this isn't, very thick metal but I don't think it's gonna have much of a problem um, obviously time will tell if I have to add some more gussets I will but I flipped this upside down so that I could have the power cord come in and come down um, this is all kind of temporary kind of permanent so yeah she's installed the trucks dead so I can't really uh, turn it on for you guys right now. But yeah, she's all in. And uh, she doesn't block any view looking through the uh, rear view mirror, which is actually kind of nice. And I was able to get it uh, tucked up real nice and high. All right, so we got the SYE kit installed. Uh, I got all my measurements for the drive line, and I'm gonna be calling on Monday. Uh, we got the sound bar in and uh, yeah, just waiting on some more parts, waiting on the axle shafts to come in so I can get the disc brake kit and got to wait to pick up my third member so I can get that all on, weld the uh, disc brake brackets on and finally get her back on her own weight. So we still got a lot of parts to buy because we still have to do the front 44 and I still have to re-gear the front axle and put the Grizzly locker up in here as well. So there's still still quite a bit to uh, buy before we can actually get rolling. Figured I would start sharing some of the parts that I'm getting in and uh, I'll have another video up soon. So as always, stay off road.